It's two o'clock in the afternoon. All morning, the clouds have been gathering over the rainforest in Costa Rica. And now, it's time for the daily downpour. Tropical rainforests can be found in a narrow band around the world that extends 10 degrees north and south of the equator. What distinguishes them from other types of forest is the amount of rain they receive. Here on the east side of Costa Rica, the average annual rainfall is 4,500 millimetres. Three factors contribute to this deluge. Firstly, the Caribbean Sea is a constant source of warm, moist air. The prevailing easterly winds blow this air on shore, resupplying the rainforest with moisture. Secondly, the moisture can't be blown further west because of the mountain ranges running down the middle of Central America. It remains trapped over the rainforest. The third factor is the forest itself. Taken as a whole, the rainforest is a complex living organism which has a range of ways of sustaining itself. After it has rained, the forest returns moisture to the air in two ways, evaporation and transpiration. The transpiration part, which is where plants sweat because of the warmth of the forest, is so dramatic that it generates 50% of the rain falling back into the rainforest. An amazing natural example of water conservation. As well as controlling its water intake, the forest also has a number of ways of maintaining its food supply and ensuring regrowth. It even protects itself against sunburn. It's mid-afternoon and the rain's let up a bit. The sun's still high in the sky, but it's really dark down here. You can see what a difference this torch makes. The reason it's so dark is because there's still heavy cloud cover, but it's this cloud cover that helps maintain the rainforest. Without it, it would be exposed to the full intensity of the equatorial sun. As it is, it typically gets four to six hours of sunlight a day. Enough to stimulate growth, but not so much it damages this fragile ecosystem. 